this is two mathematical equation based on these two mathematical equation what is the solution of 5 over 3 multiplied by a plus b we have to find out the solution of this part based on these two mathematical condition a and b both are real number that means we have to find out the solution of 5 over 3 times a plus b it seems like pretty complex but uh, i have a very easy way to find out the solution of this part based on these two mathematical equation to find out the solution let's write the equation again here to make it simple let's consider square root a is equal to x and square root b is equal to y in this equation that means this part become a is x square and that part become b is y square now we can substitute this a and b in this equation by x and y so equation number one become x square times square root a means x plus b means y square times y is equal to 32 or i can write this part in simplified way x cube plus y cube is equal to 32 if i substitute a and b by x and y then second equation become b means y square times square root a means x plus a means x square square root b means y which is equals to 31 to make it a little bit simple we can say x y square plus x square y which is equals to 31 i'm introducing a very simple um, formula from our high school level formula x plus y whole cube which is equals to x cube plus 3 x square y plus 3 x y square plus y cube let's take this x cube and y cube together and let's take three common from these two parameters one three is common remaining is x y square plus x square y x cube plus y cube exactly this part which is equals to 32 so i can substitute this part by 32 plus 3 times x y square plus x square y which is equals to this part is 31 32 plus 30 3 times 31 means 93 if you add this two part it's 125 that means i'm getting x plus y whole cube is equal to 125 and 125 means 5 cube and this cube and that cube they are cancelled each other from both hand side and remaining is x plus y is equal to 5 let's go back to the equation number 2 this is xy square and x square y i can take a xy common from this part x y common and remaining is y and this part remaining is x is equal to 31 look at here x plus y is 5 that means i can replace this x plus y exactly this part <coughs> so x y times this 5 is here and right hand side is 31 that means x y is equal to 31 divided by 5 i need this value in later stage in our calculation now i am introducing x plus y whole square and we know x plus y whole square is x square plus 2xy plus y square this x square and this y square let's take it together plus 2xy this x plus y can be replaced by 5 so x plus y is 5 square left hand side and right hand side it become x square plus y square we need it keep it exactly the same way x square plus y square plus 2 times xy exactly this i found it here look at here so xy means 31 over 5 that means i can write this part x square plus y square let keep it together plus 
31 times 2 means 62 um, over 5 and right hand side is 5 e square means 25. So, I can take a rearrange from left hand side and right hand side x e square plus y e square 25 minus 62 over 5. If you do a calculation on this part, you will see it becomes 63 over 5. That means x e square plus y square is equal to 63 over 5. Our given parameter was a and b, but we are calculating here until x and y. So, we have to convert again x and y into a and b. We know x square and y square has a certain value. x square is equal to a exactly here. So, I can write this part x square by a plus y square means b. That means this part become b which is equals to 63 over 5. Now, our equation get very simple, right? We can see a plus b, I got a plus b. Our given equation was uh, 5 over 3 times a plus b is equal to 5 over 3 times a plus b, I got from here 63 over 5. So, substitute this a plus b by 63 over 5 exactly here. So, this 5 and that 5, they cancel each other and 63 over 3 is 21. That means, 5 over 3 times a plus b is equal to 21. Yes, this is the answer. The solution of the solution of uh, 5 over 3 times a plus b is 21, right? This is the answer. Is not it simple? So, you can have a look here again in the whole calculation. It seems like pretty complex, but if you go through a right approach, you can calculate it very easily without any uh, complexity, right? <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy this video, I uh, request you to subscribe this channel. Thank you so much and see you again. Well, I have an interesting thing to show you. Can you tell me how many rectangle you can find out in this total area? If you count like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and this way, it will take around 5 to 6, min six minutes to find out the all combinations of total number of rectangles. But I have a very simple way to find out the total number of rectangles. I know how many rectangle this area has. This area has total 36 rectangles. How does this possible? There is a simple formula and this, this simple formula is n times n plus 1 divided by 2 and it is whole square where n is the total number of rectangle in one side. Uh, look at here. This side has 1, 2, 3. That means n is equal to 3 for this case. So, I can calculate it. 3 uh, times 3 plus 1 whole divided by 2 and then whole square. If you calculate it, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 divided by 2 is 6, that means 6 square which is equal to 36. We have 36 total rectangle in these areas. This is very simple way, right? You have to, you have to just use this formula.